school we all have it and uh, it can sometimes be the best thing or the worst for me this year for my grade six um year it went horribly i did not have a good day at all and i'll explain why and i'm gonna do this every single year until i'm out of school so we're gonna start from the beginning of the year to the end of the year to explain what went wa wrong in that year. N nothing about my year was good. Nothing. Like everyone in my classroom that was like older than me, it was a split six, seven class. And pretty much like, and pretty much like 20 out of like 27 kids was grade seven. The others were just grade six, and I was a part of the small portion of grade six. I hated it because the grade sevens are dicks. I hated them from the beginning. Let's start with in October. There was this one kid. I'm not gonna say his name, just to just for privacy reasons. I I'm not going to. So this kid decided to say one time, and this is not the only time that he said it. I, I just... I, this kid decided to say, this grade 7 kid, decided he effed my mother. Which ended up making me very mad, because I had to sit next to this kid. And it obviously made me so mad I wanted to flip a table. And was about to. Because I'm highly sensitive and have a short fuse. And I, and guess what? I got yelled at the prison bowl about it. Because I was upset. And that was the end of that. He ended up getting... T it was ended up being his fault anyways for saying it after I told my story. Now we're going to move forward to November. Yeah, it was November. This was the first time I've gotten a black eye. The first time. This kid, who was about... He was about like half my half my height. He's about like four foot seven. I'm five foot seven. Decided to hit me in the eye just for following for following me around, even though I told him to. And he started playing dumb with me. That's the end of that. And that's not the only time that the same kid has hit me in the eye. Let's fast forward a bit to about. Another shiner, which is also a black eye, if you those don't know. I, he, so it started a couple weeks, days ago, before this happened, and it snowed. And the principal actually allowed snowball fights in a certain area on the fields. Which raises another question, why would you allow it? Because obviously, because a lot of older kids from like grades, like grade six and grade sevens, are obviously going to start a freaking riot against other kids that are in the zone and start targeting kids and that's exactly what happened to me this same kid started throwing snowballs at me and even when I was in my, even though my friend was there he just stood by and did nothing that just shows how much of a jackass sometimes my friend is he's just sometimes like that and one time when I was fed up with this kid throwing snowballs at me, I told him to just stop. And guess what? Punched me again. I was fed up. And kept on getting nailed by snowballs because every single kid there is a dick. It's insane to me how dumb this school is. I hate it. This kid ended up getting... And not, didn't end up getting suspended at all. Even after the first Shiner, he didn't get suspended. After the second one, didn't get suspended. Only two kids that decided to involve themselves with the second, sh with the second black eye got suspended for only a day. It's insane to me how dumb this school is. And how it, kids are targeting me because of who I am. And my, once my father knew about this, um, he decided to send a freaking email to the school. Decided to send a freaking email to the school saying that if another incident like this happens to me again, 
he's filing a complaint to the school board if no one's suspended or no one's in trouble for me getting a shiner even though it was my fault. And also another thing that went on for the entire school year from January to the year of the to pretty much the end I got kept on getting called a hamburger. Kept on getting called the McDonald's um, character, the hamburger. Just because I bought a fedora and wore it. What? It eventually started to simmer down in like, in like April. So it's at least okay. But I didn't like getting called fat literally every day. And guess who called? Guess who kept on calling me that? A kid that's fatter than me. And we'll talk about him in a little bit. So let's forward, let's forward up until about March. March was the only time I've gotten into a fight with someone. And and he got the worst thing ever. In school suspension. This kid had the and this is the same kid from the October from around October that said in my he had sexual relations with my mother. He said it again. And it started it and guess what? I threw her hands. And this kid do it, did it as well back until a supervisor came outside and saw what we were doing and told us to just go in. To just stop it and go inside and tell what happened. Obviously I told him what happened and um, he got in school suspension for the rest of the year. Good. Let's fast forward a little bit to I think May. And this was honestly the worst thing that has ever that I've ever had to listen to at school. What I had to learn in in either May or June that I hated so much, I was just standing there, dying inside, rocking myself back and forth in a chair while I had to listen to this. It was sex education. What I ha what did I have to learn? Um the thing below the belt and stuff that comes out of it not piss and um and like I don't know what was it and like consent of you know the word and yeah and the worst thing about it was seeing um oh no <laughs> I don't even know what to say about it. Oh, I'm just gonna spell it out. It's a C O N D O M. There you go. But it was not a regular one. It was about that long and that thick. Also, one kid ended up getting sent out because the instructor, the teacher, um, said, "Who do you think?" was like, who thinks sexism is okay? No one raised their hands except the same kid that I hated the entire most and the kid that kept on calling me fat the entire year. He got sent out. He got sent out. Which honestly is deserved. I, he, he sucks. And speaking, and since we're on the topic of that kid that got sent out, let's talk about him. He is one of the worst kids I've ever met. And let me just say this, he's one of the worst kids I've ever seen. Why? Because he thinks he's cooler than everybody else with like a fake gang. He thinks he's all gangster with his bunch of stuff and he thinks he's all rich and he just thinks he's better than every single person. He's not. He's a dick. And this kid, and I've almost gotten into and I've almost gotten into fights with this kid multiple times. He thinks he's cool. He thinks he's better than everyone. He thinks he's has a lot of money and flexes it on everyone else with his fake gang. He thinks he's all tough. He's not. He's not any of those things. None. And there was also another kid I hate, and I won't. And I've got. And I've dro and I've like dropped this kid before, like holding on to his waist and then just throwing him onto the freaking ground, because this kid is so freaking annoying. 
and still is. And he's friends with one of my friends. This kid is so annoying. He'll find, he'll always try and find a way to annoy me at any time of day. Any time of day, he'll try and find a way to annoy me. It's, it's so annoying. I've had to drop this kid before. And this is the kid, and the reason why this kid, why I dropped this kid once is because he took a joke way too far. And some of my, some of my friends like to tease me and make jokes about how I weigh. I weigh 190 and they think it's a joke and they think it they think it and they think it's a something for them to joke about it's not that's why I dropped this kid what this what this kid kid said was like normal people won't go taller this is me this is him and that's how that's when I snapped Dropped him. Didn't give a shit. Well, that's all I have to say for this year. It was probably one of the worst years of my entire life at school. Hope you didn't have as much as a, as much as a bad year like me. Hopefully not. Mine was probably the worst year I'm probably ever going to have. And I hope every single person that I hate fails in high school. Oh, and for the people that I hate and that were in my school and are watching this, Anyways, peace out.